Hey guys, good uh, good evening, good evening. Hi Manuel, good evening, great to see you. Lupita, good evening. Hi Yvette, good evening. Uh, Edwin, how are you? How you doing guys? Hi, Hi Miss. ¿Cómo sigue? Mm, I'm, I'm good, I think. I think I'm okay. Okay. <laughs> yes, my voice is a, a boy's voice. <laughs> drink, drink tea, uh, drink tea de manzanilla. Yeah, I'm, I'm like having some peel and some tea, but it's mm -hmm. just in a lighter, right? Probably it's just in the ear. What about you guys? How you doing? Are you okay? Are you Hola, fine? Mister. Yes, I am. Yeah. <laughs> You're terrible, but no, me, this is bad. <laughs> um, I don't, does it work? I don't think it works. Um, so I'm not sure, probably, probably, yeah, probably not. Uh, Eric, great to see you, Eric. Thank you for joining. Javier, how you doing, Javier? Thank you for joining, too. How are you guys? Todo bien? Is everything okay? Everything good? Are you doing fine? How was your weekend? ¿Cómo estuvo su fin de semana, guys? Did you rest? ¿Descansaron un poco? Or did you have to work? ¿Todos trabajaron? Yes, miss. Bueno, yo descansé. Ah, okay, okay. That's okay. That's actually very nice. It's really nice to rest a little bit. So I'm super glad to see you guys. Me alegra mucho verlos por acá. Jorge, good evening. Great to see you too. And uh, guys, estamos ya en las últimas eh, clases. Hi, hi there. Uh, we are in the last sessions. Today, tenemos sesión número 18. Y pues solamente we are missing two more, right? Um, gracias, guys, por todos los avances en la plataforma también, por completarlos. And uh, para que ya no quedemos pendiente with like any activity, right? Uh, today, vamos a trabajar, eh, well, la, las unidades, las últimas sesiones de la unidad número 4, if you remember. Estuvimos hablando un poquito de traveling, eh, turismo, hablamos un poquito de futuro, right? And uh, today vamos a hablar de algo bien importante, too, uh, that is going to help us. Eh, eh, good de evening. Estar super relacionado. Hi, Mr. Casineda, good evening. So, um, vamos a dar direcciones. We're going to learn how to give directions. Um, algunos, well, de hecho lo vieron en nivel 1, you checked this one back in uh, level number 1, uh, but today vamos a trabajar ya un poquito más eh, la parte de fluidez, right, um, hacerlo un poco más rápido la, and, uh, y recordarnos el vocabulario más rápido, too. that is the most important thing. Suleyma, good evening, Debra, good evening, uh, Isaías, great to see you, Isaías, I'm happy to see you here. And um, so, um, pretty much, uh, el tema no, yo sé que usted ya lo maneja, I'm sure that you already handle it, que pueden describir lugares and everything, pero no está de más, right, uh, to remember it and practice it y enfocarnos en algunas de las cosas que más nos cuentan. For example, uh, si direcciones, ya pueden dar direcciones, entonces vamos a enfocarnos en escuchar las direcciones y entenderlas, right? Uh, or si se les, les dificulta todavía las preposiciones, entonces trabajemos, eh, enfoquemos, right? Eh, la parte de preposiciones, pongámosle mayor énfasis or more practice. So the idea es eh, siempre fortalecer qué es lo que nos va costando para que ningún tema eh, se nos quede eh, out. And uh, especialmente porque nos va a servir en algún momento de la vida, you know? Uh, yo siempre cuento this story. It's a friend story, and uh, he was uh, in WhatsApp, you know. Y le preguntaron a dónde estaba, where um, was uh, Chalate. So, él entendió qué es lo que le estaban diciendo. He understood. 
Y lo único que tenía que decir es, siga recto. But he was like, oh my God, ¿qué digo? How can I say that? And so, con las manos, he tried to tell these people uh, que siguiera recto. But, um, but guys, imagine you are on the street y alguien les pregunta, like, hey, where is Chalate, for example? Y solo tienen que decirle, vaya a ser recto. How would you say that in English? Es de cómo haría en esta dirección, right? Uh, how would you say, vaya a ser recto, like, siga recto? Ya se les olvidó, you forgot it? <laughs> Okay, no worries. Vamos a recordarle. We're going to remember all those things, right? Eh, Por aquí ya no les pasa. So it doesn't happen to you. Y pues cuando recuerdan, you know, or somebody les pregunta, you have an idea eh, de cómo responderles, right? Eh, to get it started, guys, I have eh, some places. Um, and uh, they belong to places in a city. But me hace falta algunas letras. I'm missing some letters here. So look at the pictures y ayúdenme con los lugares, right? Help me with the places that you see right here. Uh, for example, look at this description. Here we have, you can borrow a book here. Guys, what is the name of the place where you can borrow books? Can you help me with the place? You already have some letters here, so you just need to complete it. Any idea? Library. Library, very good. So a place where you borrow books is a library. And in El Salvador, we have a couple of libraries, actually. Uh, they are free, so you don't need to pay or anything. So that's L and we are missing the Y right there. Okay, so if you take a look, the place fits perfectly. So that is a library. Okay, guys, I mean, I need alguna vez a una libre, um, a una biblioteca, have you ever gone to a library? Or yes. is there any library near your house? Hay alguna cerca de su casa? No, miss. No, 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 no. No. Okay, okay. Well, in El Salvador, you have Biblioteca Nacional, right? That is part of the most famous libraries we no. have here. When you were young, teacher. When you were young, okay, not anymore. Well, ahora con tecnología, we don't need them. So, yeah. pero igual, hay libraries digitales. So, yeah. there are places on how to check books. So, those are libraries. Guys, let's go with the next. So let's take a look here. And this is number two. Okay, you can buy groceries here. What is the name of the place, guys? Easy, it's very easy. Supermarket. Supermarket, Supermarket. very good, that's the one. Three, you can buy medicine here. What is the name of the place? Pharmacy. Pharmacy, exactly. Number four, you can study here. School. School, very good. Too easy, right? Number five, you can see all things here. Museum. museum. Yes, that's a museum. Exactly, that's a museum. So let me just write it. Um, so that is M. We have U. And we have M, so let me just, oh no, sorry. The last letters are already given. So there you go, and that is the museum. Mm -hmm. Okay, very nice. Uh, let's go with the next one, number five. You can see lots of animals here. Zoo. Zoo, a zoo. exactly, that's a zoo. In El Salvador, do you have any idea? Saben si funciona todavía? No, right? No, ya no. Not yet. Okay, so not anymore. All right, so bye-bye to the National Zoo. Number seven, you can buy bread here. What is the place? Bakery. Ah, that's a bakery. Yes, 
Um, and hay un lugar, there is a place que se llama, right? Like the bakery. The bay. Oh, there you go. So that's a bakery. Okay. Uh, very good. Uh, almost there. Number eight, you can keep your money here. What's the name of the place? Bank. bank. That's a bank, exactly. <laughs> that's the one. Uh, number nine, you can see a doctor here. What's that? Clinic. clinic. A clinic. Yes, that's <laughs> a clinic. Uh, next one, you can exercise here. What's the place? Gym. A gym. Very good. That's the one. So those are like the most common places we have in town. Guys, question. De estos lugares, um, Near your house, ¿qué podemos encontrar? What can we find near your house? Si no se recuerdan, utilizo the reason there are para describir qué es lo que hay. Guys, ¿qué hay cerca de sus casas? For example, near my house, uh, so there is a store, um, there is a church, so near my house, right? There is a store, there is a church, there is a police station, and there is a kindergarten. What about near your house, guys? ¿Qué encontramos cerca de sus casas? Near my house is a bar. And... A bar. Oh, my God. Okay. ¿Qué tan cerca? How close? A dos casas. Wow. Dos casas. Two and... houses away. Uh -huh. Two houses away. Pero no hace mucho ruido. Mm, más o menos. Okay. Uh, kindergarten, uh, police station. Así es, policía. Yes, police station. Uh -huh. And hotel, hotel. Is there a hotel? Yes. Oh, where do you live? Do you live in San Salvador? Uh, yes, in San Salvador. Oh, okay. And there is a hotel. Well, qué interesante que hay un bar y un kindergarten cerca. Creo que no se puede, right? Is that an illegal bar? Es que en uno se deja a los hijos y en otro los esposos. Sí. <laughs> hay varios kinder. Bueno, hay tres. No, dos. Dos kinder. Kindergarten. Y hay, oh. y wow. hay varios. ¿Hay varios, perdón? Hay varios kinder y varios bares. <laughs> Wow, uh -huh. because I, I thought that por la regulación no se podía. Okay, okay. The El Salvador, the, país, the, the country, que todo se puede, where you can do anything. All right, so very nice description, Eric. Guys, what about near your house? Oh, by the way, dos casas, de, eh, dos casas, como dos casas, lo puedo decir two houses away. Si fuera, por ejemplo, a dos kilómetros, two kilometers away. Or okay. si fuera like eh, dos, um, como dos cuadras, two blocks away. Puedo utilizar esto mismo, guys, como referencia. Um, guys, what about the rest of you? So what can we find near your house? Anybody volunteers? Tell us, ¿qué hay cerca de su casa? What can you find? Near my house, there is gym. Ah, very nice. There is a gym. Okay. Do you go there? No. 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 Okay. Near my house is grocery store. Oh, there is a grocery store. Okay. And and in school. Okay, a grocery store. School. All right. Okay, guys, anybody else? Teacher, I asked yes, you something in the chat. How do you say in English potrero? Mm, wait. Oh, sorry, Daniel chat cubierto. Sorry, it was covered. Um, potreros, potreros. Um, there is not like a very specific word for that. So, podemos solamente escuchar land o podemos utilizar la palabra field. So, field es como un área abierta. 
but uh, let me see there is yeah there is no name for that so we a field is just fine we can use the word field by the way guys the word field también lo utilizamos para hablar de los campos you know como eh, si tienen una cancha de fútbol cerca de su casa so we can call it like a soccer field y usamos la palabra field para ir modificando. So, just field is fine. Cosa es un área abierta. So, okay. So, Deborah, is there a field near your house? Nobody else around my house, which are only cold. There is nothing? No, only, only field. Only, on, you can, you can see uh, cows and horses. Okay. Oh, uh, is that the country? Do you live in the countryside? Uh, in our, I don't know how do you say in a rural place? Country, yes, in country. Oh, but yeah. that is nice, the countryside. En las, como en las afueras de la ciudad o de la zona urbana. Oh, yeah. Yeah. that's nice. That's really, really nice. Miss, ¿cómo se yeah. dice cuadra? Block. You can use the word block. Oh, block. Mm -hmm. uh, in other, in other block, uh, there is a church. Oh, one. okay. There is one. All uh, right. And ay, cómo se dice? Como arriba de mi casa. Uh, before my house. Before my house, uh, there is a. a Ay, ¿cómo se dice? Como cancha. A uh, field. You can use this one. Si es de fútbol, you okay. can use soccer field. A uh, soccer field. Mm -hmm. yes. Ah, okay. So there is a soccer field too and a church. All right. Guys, do you live near, I don't know, a restaurant, a store, a pupusería, a place to eat? Or near yeah. the beach? Alguien vive cerca de la playa? Yes, Manuel. Near my house, there is a um, supermarket, ah, okay. pharmacy, school, nice. uh, bakery, okay. bank. Wow, so you live uh, living in the center? Gym. No. no? Um, I live as the Alta Vista. And here, oh, okay. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice varias? I'm sorry, can you say that again? Can you repeat? Bueno, en español. Aquí hay varias, eh, eh, de todo, hay escuela, colegio. Lo único que están así como a, a, dos, a dos cuadras, una cuadra. Okay, so everything is closed. Todo yes. está cerca, everything is closed. Yes. Okay, okay, very nice. So everything is closed. So uh, when we use the expression like everything is closed, Nos referimos a distancia, guys. Careful, because close, sabemos que cerrado, but in this scenario, como hablamos de in the, uh, instrucciones o de direcciones, uh, yo puedo decir, for example, near my house, o puedo decir close to my house. Mm -hmm. So close mm -hmm. es como cerca, right? En las cercanías. Oh, so, um, wow, Manuel. Looks and, good. And you are in church? In a church. Eh, católica y evangélica. Ah, a Catholic. Okay, a Catholic and Christian church. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's so, yeah, right. So, you're right. Everything is very close. Okay. Nice. Y otra palabra que hace referencia a eso, se dice near. Mm -hmm. Yes, let's go back. This one, near my house. Teacher, near, near my house is the river. Wow, you got a river too. Yeah. Wow, that's really nice. Vamos a hacer una caminata. Yeah. Oh, can we do that? Ayagua? Is there we some water? Yes. But um, do you get the there Santa, by car or walking? No, just walking. Just walking. How yeah. many minutes away from the street? Uh, from the main street, maybe uh -huh. five, ten minutes. I oh, know it's a cerca. It's very yeah. close. Okay, okay. Can we do tourism there? 
I don't know what is the meaning of reason. Uh, tourism. Like turismo. Can we do yes. tourism? Yes. Uh, for for uh, Christmas Day. Uh -huh. And then ha the Happy New Year's. It, it's very it's very common to, to see tourists. Oh, okay. But that is Nehapa, isn't it? No, I mean, no Nehapa, it's Metapan, right? Yeah. Ah, okay, okay. So guys, yes, we can do tourism near Deborah's house. Very nice. That's actually very cool. So Lupita, creo que esa es la palabra que me preguntaba near. So near my house or close. Mm -hmm. Ambos significan lo mismo. Both of them are the same. Okay. Cool. So talking about places, I'm really glad to hear que recuerdan algunos nombres de lugares. So we can move to the next part. Uh, que son las preposiciones. Uh, prepositions de hecho me ayudan a decir eso, right? Lo que está antes de mi casa, um, cerca de mi casa, arriba, abajo, and like all these different places. And now, give me one second, because esto no tenía que show. Wait a moment, wait a moment. Okay. Now, um, first, vamos a revisar un poquito like your material, because tenemos bastante material bueno there. So we're going to go over page number 43. And over there, guys, in 43, tenemos preposiciones. So it says instructions to get the location of a place. Si ya se recuerdan las preposiciones, we are super good. If not, recordemos las tú. Let's remember them. Guys, para esto le voy a pedir eh, la ayuda de su cámara. I'm going to ask you for your camera. Yes, eh, vamos a utilizar las manos. We're going to use your hands como referencia, right? Preposiciones es la locación. So your hands are going to be the location, right? If you can uh, turn on your camera, that would be nice. You know, solamente follow me. So I really like a song and it goes like this. This is like uh, in, right? So in, adentro. Guys, si pueden seguirme, that would be very nice. So put your, put your hands in front of the camera and do this in. Wait, voy a apagar el. I'm going to turn off this then because I'm not able to. Because uh, it's not working. Wait. Mm, okay, there we go. So we have in, on, out. And guys, vayan repitiendo conmigo. So go and repeat too, para que sea más fácil, right? So one more time. In. 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 On. 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 Out. 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 Under. 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 Up. 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 Down. 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 Over. 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 Between. Between. Como between. en medio de los dedos, Ajá, that's between, right? Between. So between is en medio de lugares. Okay, one between. more time. Let's go ahead. Actually, hay una canción, probably we're not going to sing it, pero es como decir las preposiciones bastante rápido. So one more time, let's go over. So we have in, 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 in. on, on, out, out, out. out. Under. Under. under, under. Me faltaron dos, I'm sorry. In front of. Behind. 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 Up. 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 Down. 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 Over. 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 Between. 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 Okay, very nice. Now try to do it a little bit faster. So in. 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 On. 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 Out. 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 Under. Out. Under. Under. In front of. In front, in front of, behind, behind, behind. Up, 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 down, down, down. Over, 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 between, between, between. Yes, very nice. Those are the prepositions. <laughs> okay, guys. So take a look one more time. So we have the first one, um, and the first one is in, right? So in, adentro, right? 
Then we have the next one that is, wait, we have on. So, in, sobre. es adentro, on, es sobre. We have out, right? Fuera. Uh -huh. We have under, this is under. So, abajo. So, under, so, mm -hmm. abajo. es abajo, exactly, under. Then we have in under. front of. In front. In front of. Then we have behind, right? Atrás. So behind. La pueden pronunciar como behind or you can pronounce it as behind. Behind, behind. Then we have up, right? Up. Esta ya es una dirección. Up, hacia arriba. Vaya hacia arriba. Suba, suba. Por ejemplo, un lugar, como en Spanish, <laughs> hacemos la broma de suba la subida. <laughs> suba, su, because suba in arriba. English, because, ajá, suba arriba. Because in English, de hecho, es go up. Ajá, uh, so creo que es la mala traducción of those words. So we have up. Y tenemos lo opuesto, down. So we can tell a person, vaya hacia abajo. Ajá. Uh -huh. oh. No baje la bajada, right? But vaya hacia abajo, go down. Then we have over. Important because over no es on. On tiene que tocarlo. Over normalmente es esto, right? So, ¿qué está arriba de ustedes, guys? Que no los toca. What is over your head right now? The sky. The, the sky. Lamp. The ceiling. Quizás si tienen cielo falso de ceiling. Si solo es el techo de roof. So, over es algo que está sobre, pero no me toca directamente. No está en una superficie, right? Uh, and then we have the last one that is between. So between is para esto, right? Entre. So, en medio de dos lugares. Entre dos lugares. Exactly. So, um, the idea is to sing the song super fast. We're not going to do it porque tendríamos que practicar a lot. But goes like that, right? So, in, on, out, under, in front of, behind, up, down, over, in between. So those are the most common prepositions we have. Vamos a agregar ahora un par más. Eh, so, algunas de ellas son across from, right? Um, that we're going to use it too. And we are going to use on the corner of. Tenemos también esta que acabamos de revisar close to, como cerca de un lugar. O tenemos la palabra near, que también es cerca, right? We are going to use this one as well. So, um, okay, so guys, what about right now? Donde ustedes están ahorita, where you are right now? ¿Qué tienen a su alrededor? What is next to you? What is behind you? For example, behind me, there is a door. And in front of me um, is my closet. I am very near the, the wall. I'm near the wall, right? And uh, what else is here? There is um, a bureau, like, very close to me, too. Guys, what about you? ¿Qué tienen cerca? What is around you? Teacher, ¿cómo se dice eh, como la juguetera o el pozo donde está el televisor? Mm, um, hay varias formas. Podemos decir entertain, entertain, entertain. Unit, uh, or podemos utilizar, well, depende de algunas personas le cambian nombre. Podemos usar la palabra shelf como una especie de estantería, what you have, o como un rack. You can use rack, you can use shelf, or podemos usar si es la grandota donde va el estéreo and all those things, entertainment unit. Solo, guys, si me ayudan a confirmar el spelling de esta, cos eh, I don't remember, so I'm not 100% sure. So, si la encuentra, let me know. I think it's entertainment unit. So, guys, um, entertain. Oh, I'm missing. I'm, I'm changing here one letter. Okay, there you go. So, entertainment unit. Okay, guys. So, ¿qué eh, hay cerca de su casa? I mean, or ¿qué es lo que tienen alrededor de ustedes? What do you have around you right now? Behind me is the right. No. The fridge? fridge. Fridge. Okay. So there is a fridge. All right. And under me is a fan. 
Mm, afan. Under, mm. abajo. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, up. Mm. Si, el, si el fan está colgando, podemos yeah. utilizar esta, que es over. Oh, so we oh, can use over, yes. So okay. there is a fan over me, mm -hmm. porque está colgando. We can use it. Guys, uh, so this one right over. So, ¿qué tienen alrededor? What do you have around? Are you in the yeah. living room? Yes, yes, in front me? of of my uh, furniture. Furniture, okay. That's it. Just furniture. Uh, under is arriba. No, under is like under. This. Under. Under. Wait, like this. Under. This one. Okay. Abajo. Mm -hmm. Pero si quiero decir sobre, I'm going to use on. Mm. Y si es sobre, pero sin tocar algo, voy a usar over. Under my bed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, under your bed. Uh, the floor. Oh, okay. Pensé que iba a decir, I don't know, shoes, books, clothes. <laughs> okay, so. No, 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 no. No me gusta. Okay, that's all right. Uh -huh. Guys, so what, what do you have under your bed? No, under my bed, actually, no hay much. There is nothing. Because... No hay espacio. ¿Cómo se dice ventilador? A fan. In front of a fan. Ok. Ok. Uh, to my left, uh, Miss, I uh -huh. have uh, the, the blackboard. Um, to my right, I have a mirror. Microwave? Uh, is far. Or I'm sorry. To your to what do you have to your right? Uh, uh to my right I have a mirror. Oh, I'm sorry, a mirror. Let's go check micro. So I was a micro. Uh -huh, okay. Mirror. So a mirror. All right. All right. Sounds good. So pretty much that is the idea of the prepositions. Se las dejé acá también. Para que, you know, you can use them. Now, hay algunas palabras que nos van a ayudar para dar indicaciones, right? Porque no solamente es como dónde está, sino cómo llego a ser. So, uh, some of them are this one, next to. So, we have this two, next to, right? ¿Qué es lo que está a la par mío? Um, I am next to the, I don't know, I'm next to the wall. Estoy a la par de la pared, right? So, guys, ¿qué tienen next to you? What's next, next to my you? pillow? Your pillow. pillow. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. So pillows. Next to the patient. Are you next to the patient right now? Yes. Carla, are you working? Yes, teacher. Oh my God. Okay. Is the patient listening to you? Yes. Uh, ¿Cómo decirle? Está dormido ahorita. <laughs> so, the patient is sleepy. Lo dejó sedado yeah. mientras que recibe la clase. <laughs> ok. Wow. But, Miss, but son pacientes like human, no son pacientes animales. No, human. 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 Oh, okay. I don't know. Solo se me ocurrió que puede ser un paciente animal, right? Like a dog, a cat. Okay. Wow. Well, lo bueno es que inconscientemente está practicando inglés. Too. <laughs> okay. Uh, aprendiendo, teacher. Yeah. Hay, había un método a lot of time ago que era in, aprende eh, inglés durmiendo, something like that. I don't know. Um, no sé si lo recuerden. So that's exactly in front of. So lo que tengo a la par, right? Then we have between. So between is esta posición between. So that means it's el punto medio entre dos cosas, right? For example, in my cameras, eh, yo tengo a Luis, a Carla, and Manuel. 
pero quien está en medio, that's Carla. So eso se le llama between, right? El punto medio. Um, we have across the street. Um, so this is across the street. Debo de cruzarla, hay una calle en medio. And uh, if I tell somebody, cruce la calle, so um, voy a cambiar un poquito la palabra. Ese es cross the street, but across es lo que está al otro lado, right? Uh, we have around the corner. So this is the corner. And give me one second. This is around the corner. So I come here and then I come to this position, right? So esto se le llama como a la vuelta, around the corner. Around the corner. Mm -hmm. That's around the corner. So, um, well, no, donde yo vivo no hay nada around the corner, so, but it's like de la vuelta. That's the one we use. Then we have other expressions. For example, this one. Guys, si va en esta posición, in, like with the arrows, uh, imagine, voy caminando, I'm walking here, y tengo esta flechita, ¿cómo le llamo? Váyase hacia la derecha. How can I say that? The right. Hey, turn exactly, right. turn right. Yes, so that is turn right. Voy acá y luego, ah, ok, turn right. Y si fuera al revés, I'm walking here, y tengo this arrow, so ¿qué utilizo? What can I use? ¿Qué sería? Left. left, exactly. So we have right and we have left. That is the one. And si yo digo, oh, look, I'm walking, voy caminando acá, y le digo, está a la derecha. ¿Cómo le digo está a la derecha? There is. There is. is. The right. But um, voy a utilizar la palabra it. it is, está, right? So I'm going to use it is on the, on the right. On right. the right. Very good, exactly. It is on the right. Está a la derecha. Remember, no voy a traducirlo literal en Spanish. Yo uso la expresión está a mano. No usamos eso en inglés. Solo it is on the right. Y ya entendimos, right? We already got that part. So, because es mucho más directo. Um, now we're going to practice a little bit. Uh, we're going to check a couple of expressions. And uh, here, más abajito en su libro, in your manual, you have this beautiful thing. Look at it. So we have some exercises. And guys, help me complete them. For example, we already have the hotel. It says here, the hotel is across the street. So, because obviamente hay una calle y yo debo de cruzarla, right? I need to cross it. What about the rest, guys? The gas station is around the corner. De estos lugares, from all these boxes, ¿cuál sería the gas station? The gas station is around the corner. The bank is next to the gas station. The ATM is down the street on the right. And the restaurant is down the street on the left. Um, so, ¿qué, ¿qué nombres les podemos poner a estos lugares? What are these places, guys? Around the corner. Are, are you doing me con este? Comenzamos con este. What is the Mark. name of this place? In front of? In front of? Mark. Yes. Mark. Yes, but necesitamos los nombres. Wait, 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 wait. So tenemos the hotel, the gas station, oh. the bank, the ATM, and the restaurant. So, um, uh, this one. ATM. ¿Cuál es este? The ATM. Oh. Es que yo siento que el mapa está al revés. Oh. Across. Okay. Across the street. Oh, no. Sí, puede, puede, es que depende mucho de cómo lo estemos viendo, right? You're right, you're right. Porque okay. es el restaurante. This one is a restaurant. The restaurant is down the street on the left. A la izquierda. No, es que el down está arriba. Sí. Digamos que, no. yeah, digamos que acá es como para abajo. Right? Let's, yeah. say, okay. yeah, let's say that, let's say that. 
we're gonna take it. So, si este es el caso, ¿cuál sería este lugar? What is this box? Sería ATM. ATM. Mm, ok. Vamos si a hacia arriba. Si venimos de, de abajo para arriba, pero si vamos de, yes. del hotel para arriba tomando... Eh, Entonces, el hotel, inicia el hotel. Ok, pongamos un punto de referencia. Digamos que vamos hacia arriba, pero el mapa está así. So vamos hacia allá. We are going all the way. No, ok. If that is the case... Entonces, this is, this is the restaurant. This is the restaurant. This is the restaurant. ¿Y ve? Yes, ok. The restaurant. Está a la izquierda okay. de la calle. Let's take a look. The restaurant is down the street on the left. Ok. Si este es el restaurant, if this is the restaurant, what is this? This one, ATM. the other one. ATM. Is that an ATM? Yeah. Okay. Guys, do you agree? Yes. ATM. Okay. So that can be an ATM. If this is the ATM, what is the first box right gas, here? Gas station. Gas station? Gas Okay. Gas. Uh -huh. So gas station. And if this is the gas station, what is the second place? Bank. The bank. The, the bank. bank. Okay. Yes, muchas veces, as you said, it's un poco confusing, porque entiendo que down is hacia abajo, right? Pero most of the times, it's por la posición en que lo vemos here. So, yes, that's actually the answer. But now we're going to practice this a little bit. Take a look at the places we have in this map right here, guys. And here we have, you see, uh, okay, bank, police store, police station, a store, post office, drugstore, etc. So look at it. Ayúdenme con la, lo que hace falta. Help me with the parts that are missing. The police station is the bank and the store. Oh, tengo dos lugares. I have two places. The police station between. is between the bank and the store ah very good so the police station is yeah between between Por qué between oh because media tengo dos yes y tengo dos normalmente between. exactly una de las palabras que me ayudan a hablar de dos es between so the police station is between the bank and the store I'm gonna change color because this is too bright okay so between the bank and the store. Number two, the drugstore where, okay, the drugstore is here. The drugstore is the police station. Donde uh, está, guys? The, the drugstore is a crow, a, a crow, algo así, no sé cómo se pronuncia. No, ni la. A crow. Okay, so the police, the police is station. across a from, aha, uh -huh, across from, the police station, very good, porque está el cruce de, mm -hmm. that's okay, that's good. Number three, guys, help us with number three. Hi, David, the school is the restaurant. Next this two. is the next to? Yeah. Ah, okay, okay. Um, Let me check the uh, The school, the school is on the left, the restaurant. Okay. Ah, también puedo utilizarlo. So the school is, está a la izquierda. It is on the left of the restaurant. Or puedo utilizar, creo que alguien lo mencionó por ahí, like next to. Mm, sí se puede, you know, we can use it. So the school is next to the restaurant. Oh, también, ¿cuál otra palabra puedo utilizar en vez de next to? No están exactamente cerca a la par, so, pero están cerca. So what other words can I use? Oh, sorry. Near. Near, exactly. So I can also say the school is near. Near the restaurant. It tiene sentido. Or I can say the school is close to the restaurant. It también tiene sentido. It makes sense. So most of the times, it's solo tener una idea, right? Um, yes. Perdón, escuché que me dijo dicho. I'm not sure. Okay. Que Débora quiere hablar, pero no se escucha. No sé qué pasa. 
Es que yo creo que le escuché, creo que era la voz de ella, right? Sí, pero no se voice. escucha. Ya me escribió y no se escucha, no sé qué pasa. Debra, no se escucha. Can you listen to us? Se escucha como súper lejos, ¿verdad? Medio se escuchó ahorita. Es que, yeah, exactly. Solo escuché teach. And then it was going, uh -huh. So I was like, wait, okay. Okay, well, hopefully. Um, Hola. Sí, quiere hablar, pero no se escucha, no sé por qué. Quizás algún problema con el audio. Ah, uh, well, Deb nos. Le voy a escribir. Wait. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't see the message. Can you repeat what is down the street? Um. But no sé si nos escucha, like, can you listen to us? Can you hear us? Okay. So while, oh, okay. So she can listen to us, I think. But we can't. Dev, no le escuchamos. We can hear you. Mm -hmm. So hopefully she go, comes back to us. Okay, guys. So mientras de, eh, solucionamos lo del audio, um, let's take a look at four. The train station. Guys, the train station is uh, here in yellow. So, and we uh, have the school. ¿Cómo sería entre ellos dos? The train station is... The, the train station is in front of the school. Okay, see, sí, funciona. So it is in front of the school. All right, that's okay. Pero hay una calle también. Y cuando hay una calle, podemos usar también otra palabra, guys. What can we use there? Across the street. Across, exactly, to the train. También podemos usar the train station it across from the school. So across from, normalmente lo usamos cuando hay calles, pero también podemos usar in front of, right? And that is fine. Um, let's take a look at five, the drugstore. So the drugstore, guys, is here in the middle. The drugstore is the movie theater and the post office. Again, ¿cuál es la palabra cuando hay algo en medio? Between. Between, very good. So that is between. The drugstore is between the movie theater and the post office. That is the one. Guys, dudas con las preposiciones? Do you have any doubt? No, miss. Okay. Okay, guys. Vamos a practicarlas. No, no worries. We got to practice these things. So, um, but before doing that, before until the evening, let's practice a little more. Take a look at the second exercise. And guys, les voy a dar un minuto. No es necesario que lo escriban. You don't need to write it. Pueden hacerlo de forma eh, oral por el momento. Vamos a cerrar los micrófonos. Leanlo. Intentan encontrar la respuesta. Y luego la compartimos, right? Remember, no solo hay una respuesta correcta, eh, especialmente en preposiciones. Yo lo puedo ver de esta forma. You may see that in a different way. Pero la idea es que tengamos un punto de referencia, right? So, dos minutos, guys. One, two minutes, máximo. Eh, si los quieren escribir, that's okay. O si no, solamente intenten decirlo. Try to say it to yourself. Luego lo compartimos.
になっていくから。Are you ready, guys? Do you need more time? Necesitan más tiempo, guys. Or ya lo completaron. Did you complete it? ¿Pudieron encontrar la respuesta? Yes, yes. Very nice. Sounds really, really good. So, okay. So, guys, let's take a look here. And uh, let's take a look what we what you got in number one. So, it says the house is. Guys, what do you have in number one? On the Stella Casa, where is the house? Behind um, of car. Okay, the uh, the house is behind the car. ¿Quién más? Tienen algo diferente or do you, do you have the same? In front of the car. Okay, the house is in front of the car. The house is behind the car. Yeah, funciona. ¿Quién más? The house is behind the car. Near the car? Oh. Near, okay. The house is near, yeah. Yeah, that's totally fine. That looks good. Next one, guys. Um, okay. What about the next one? Number two, the dog. Look at the dog. So the, dog, the sun. The dog is oh. under town. That the sun. Okay. Ok, como sabemos que el sol no es algo exactamente like um, que, este, que no se mueva, hay una palabra para eso que podemos utilizar. No se las mostré antes. I'm sorry about that. So let me show that one. Tenemos uh -huh. la palabra below. Si se recuerdan, por ejemplo, on es esto, on es sobre, pero over es esto, que no se toca. Entonces, under es lo mismo. Under está acá abajo, pero below es esto no le está tocando, como cuando tenemos, eh, cuando viven en apartamentos, right, o cuando vivimos, o estamos en el segundo piso y nos referimos al primer piso, so podemos utilizar below, abajo, pero sin tocar, so the dog is below the sun, right, so it's totally fine, under the sun, sí, también podemos usar under in that case, that, yeah, that makes sense, sí lo he escuchado, and that's okay, what about number six? The houses, the dog and the tree. Excuse me. Yes. Eh, dijo eh, below abajo, pero sin tocar. Normalmente, yes. Normalmente below okay. es sin tocarlo. Pero en okay. this scenario, yo sí he escuchado under the sun. Como cuando usted se va al mar o a la playa y está bajo el sol. Yo sí lo he escuchado under. So, yeah. We can use it. Um, number six, guys. What do you have in number six? The house is the dog and the tree. Mm 
Number three. Between. Okay, between. Number six, the house is between the dog <laughs> and the tree. Very good. And number seven, the dog is to the of the house. ¿Está a la izquierda o a la derecha? The dog is to the... Like. Mm -hmm. So, a la... Um, ¿Está a la the derecha? Left. left. Well, okay. On the left. Qué interesante. ¿Cómo lo están viendo, guys? <laughs> Depende, cómo. <laughs> Yeah, because, uh, I mean, si lo vemos de frente, está a la derecha, right? Pero mm -hmm. si se ponen en la casa. Frente a la casa, está a la izquierda. Uh -huh. Ajá, so, but the, el perro está a la derecha o a la izquierda? The dog is to the... A la izquierda si me pongo... Left or right? Mm -hmm. Veámoslo de frente, ajá, uh -huh. no, no, ya, yeah, nos vamos a, a enchebular. So, si lo vemos así como right. está... Exactly, to the right. The dog is on to the, the right, right of the house. Mm -hmm. On the right, yes. Mm -hmm. Or to the right of the house. Yes, guys, and pretty much eso es para dar eh, la locación, right? Solamente estamos with prepositions so far. Dudas, preguntas, do you have any question? Do you have any doubt? Okay. I'm going to take that as a no. So, vamos a practicar un poquito. Again, no estamos todavía indicando cómo llegar a un lugar, not yet. Ahorita solamente estamos describiendo qué es lo que hay, right? Y a dónde está. So, si se fijan, utilizamos por lo general the reason there are, or utilizamos the police station is. Siempre utilizamos el verbo be para indicar la locación. So, this is the map. Vamos a utilizar este mapa, right, to talk about the places. También puedo utilizar el nombre de las calles. I can use the name of the street. Pero con las streets, yo voy a utilizar la palabra on. So, for example, si quiero decir que la library está sobre la primera calle, so that would be the library is on the first street. So, también podemos dar indicaciones usando los nombres de las calles. Tenemos Central Avenue, Second Street, Main Street, pero solamente no se les olvide utilizar on para dirigirnos a las calles. So, um, guys, I have all these places right in the map. And the exercise right now is Vamos a describir, we are going to describe tantos lugares como podamos, a dónde están. Intentemos utilizar todas las preposiciones, on the corner, between, on the left, on the right, down, etc. So I'm going to give you like five minutes para que todos puedan participar, so everybody can participate. Luego regresamos a revisar las direcciones, cómo dar direcciones. So... Cinco minutitos, guys, only. Let's go ahead, practice. Eh, ¿Cuál es la pregunta para saber o si le quieren preguntar a alguien a dónde está el lugar? Vamos a utilizar where is the. For example, quiero saber a dónde está la tienda. Where is the store? ¿A dónde está el restaurante? Where is the restaurant? ¿A dónde está el banco? Where is the bank? Right? So, podemos también preguntar, right? And intentamos dar locación solamente. Guys, cinco minutitos. Go ahead. Practice as, men, as much as you can. Y luego, then we come back.
Guys, I'm sharing the map. Let me know if you can see that, please.
All right, guys, so thank you for coming back. Uh, guys, pudieron practicar, tienen alguna duda, alguna pregunta, hay algo que les haya costado. Is there anything that was hard? Miss, uh, for example, uh, uh, the church. Uh, Se puede decir, uh, the church is on the Central Avenue and Second Street. Uh, yes, but we can also say, let me write it. I'm going to write it here at the bottom. There are different ways. Uh, as I, again, I better form the the silo. There are more, more ways than that. I can say, for example, the church is on the corner of Central Avenue in Second Street. I don't want to write the whole thing. So Second Street. Uh, but but that way it's okay. It sounds actually very nice. Normalmente utilizamos on the corner of eh, porque está cabal, como en el punto medio donde cruzan las dos calles, donde se conectan. So yes, eh, podemos utilizar on the corner, es en la esquina de ambas calles. But if you have the churches on Central Avenue and Second Street, um, it's okay, si se entiende, aunque es como un poco más eh, específico. But yeah, it's okay, sounds good. Sounds actually fine. Eh? Okay. Guys, thank you. Thanks. Mm -hmm. thank you. You're welcome. Guys, do you, do you have any doubt, any question? No? Was it easy? Se les hizo bastante fácil. Was it easy? Uh, yes, Miss. No, I'm very happy to hear that. Okay. I'm super glad to hear that part. So guys, si esta parte está fácil, veamos entonces, let's take a look at the following part uh, that we have right now. So, ahora sí, guys, vamos a empezar a revisar un poquito de uh, direcciones. Like, en realidad es casi lo mismo. La diferencia es que ahora sí ya le doy instrucciones claras de a dónde debe de ir si debe de cruzar, si debe de seguir, o si debe de ir hacia arriba o hacia abajo. So, let's take a look at this part. Tenemos este dial dialogue. Estoy en la X. I am right here. So, it says start here. And let's take a look at the description y veamos si encontramos cuál es el lugar. This one, we have A, B, and C. Guys, ¿cuál es el lugar a donde esta persona va? Where is, where is the place? Let me play it. Loren, escuchar, can you hear that? No. No, okay. Deme un segundo. No, Give me no. a moment. Veamos si funciona. Let's see if it works. Okay. Okay. How to get to the post office? Ahora sí. Excuse me. Okay. Yes. How okay, guys. So, um, the conversation, o lo que van a escuchar es exactamente lo que tenemos abajo. So, pueden irlo siguiendo, eh, o lo pueden leer, whatever you prefer. And guys, tell me a dónde es que llega, A, B, or C. What is the place they are looking for? Excuse me, yes. How to get to the post office? Go past the hotel and turn left onto Main Street. Go one block and turn right across from the train station. Thank you. Letter to B. Yeah, letter A. Is it from from the trash uh, see you. Excuse from me. A. Yes. How to get to the post office? Go past the hotel and turn left onto Main Street. Go one block and turn right. It's across from the train station. Thank you. Oh, that is why instructions are so important. Hey. So, guys, eh, hagámoslo juntos. Let's Pero do it together. Pero ahí si, si la estación de... Bueno, si la entrada principal de la estación de trenes está enfrente de la, sí, pero no se sabe oh, okay. dónde está la entrada principal. 
So let's follow it. It says, how do you get to the post office? Go past the hotel. Okay, so go for a camp. Estoy acá en este punto. So I go past the hotel. It was the camp. It says and turn the left the on Main uh, Street. Uh -huh. Turn left, the left the on Main the Street. The go the one the block. The oh, go one block. Todo el bloqueo. Toda la cuadra es un block. Yes. And turn oh, right. Y luego a la derecha, turn right. It is across from the train station. There you go. So the place is letter A. Entonces, why are instructions important? Porque una palabra exactly um, puede hacer la diferencia. Uh -huh. So yeah, here, todas, las ambas se parecen, de hecho, la instrucción es bastante simple, but dice go one block. Entonces me dice que me lo camine toda la cuadra, right? To get to the place. But take a look. Guys, repiten conmigo. Go past. Go past. Go past. What is go past? ¿Qué entienden por go past? Camine hasta llegar al... Camine. O pasar a, el, el punto de referencia. Exactly. Que pase de un lugar. So go past. Go past the hotel. Pase después o llegue después del hotel, right? Váyase pasando. Turn left. Doble hacia la izquierda, right? So, le wait, left. Mi otra derecha. <ríe> okay. Go one block. En inglés hay muchas expresiones que se parecen. Usamos go one block para decirle camine por una cuadra, right? Um, and so, uh, here en su material hay muchas más expresiones that we can use as well. So, give me one second. Let me just go down a little bit. So here, en la página 44, tenemos go straight. ¿Cómo le digo a alguien vaya a ser recto? Go straight. Guys, repitan conmigo. Go straight. Go straight. Go straight. Exactly. Go straight. I have go past. Repitan conmigo. Go past. Go past. Go past. Go past. That means siga, right? Váyase después de ese lugar. Next one, we have turn left. Turn left. Mm -hmm. Turn left. Left is izquierda, right? Turn izquierda. left. Turn right. Turn right. Turn right. We have right. go up. What is go up? Go up. Suba. Va a ir la calle hacia arriba o suba. Go up. Y lo opuesto, go down the street. Baje so go calle. down. Mm -hmm. Baje, vaya hacia abajo, tome la calle de abajo. Next one, walk down the street. Walk, walk, walk down, down. Street. So tenemos go walk. straight, walk down. Y tenemos, acá, yes, y tenemos acá mucho más específico, go on for one block. En two la blocks. dirección decía walk, go one block, right? So go one block, go two blocks, go three blocks. Porque necesito decirle que tanto va a caminar, right? No es como camine y you know, that's it. So, then, esto de acá son de las que más me gustan porque son más fáciles. Tenemos take, take the, the first, first street left. or take the first left. And take, take the second the or take the first right. Uh, now, ¿por qué son bien útiles? Porque doy dos instrucciones en una y me complico menos la vida. I complicate my life like Less, definitely less. So take a look one more time. Go straight. What is the go meaning go. of go straight? Like a go field. straight? By a recto, yes. Go past. Oh, I'm glad. Ya escuché de ahora. Go past. Pase de un lugar, right? Mm -hmm. Pase de un lugar. Like go past the hotel, go past the gas station. So it's después de ese lugar. También usamos before and after sin problema. Turn left. Izquierda, right. Turn right. Derecha. Go up. Váyase hacia arriba. Go down. Váyase hacia abajo. Go on for two blocks. Váyase por dos eh, cuadras. Go on for three blocks. O también podemos decir go straight for two blocks. Podemos combinar esta sin problema. So, let's go ahead, guys, and let's start practicing. Um, the instructions, 
no, eh, no hago nada explicándoles, right? Porque esto es más de práctica. So here, the more you practice, the más fácil se va a volver. It is going to be easier. Take a look at my following map. Tenemos un par de lugares acá. We have a couple of places. Voy a escribir, I'm going to make like a little, a little X here para indicarles a dónde estoy, guys. Y ustedes me ayudan con las direcciones. So I'm going to be here. And I'm going to get started in this red spot. Okay. Um, si se fijan aquí en el mapa, están también las direcciones. Yo les puedo decir utilizarlas. Uh, pero quick question, ¿ustedes saben utilizar eh, los puntos cardinales? Can you use them? No. No. Mm, honestly, oh. yo no mucho, so I don't use oh, them. Sí. <laughs> pero si usted lo puede utilizar, go. Si se sabe el nombre de las calles, go and use them. So we have north, we have south, we have west, and we have east. También los puede utilizar. You can use them too. But um, uh, el detalle es que muchas veces es complicado, right? So, um, there are some places, guys, where I want to go, okay? And I need your help. So, first, I want to go to the city park. I'm going to put a little spot here. I want to go to the fire station. I want to go to the beauty shop, okay? And I want to go to the flower shop right here. There you go. And I want to go to the, what is the name on top? Wait, oh, I want to go to the university right here. Okay, so now, ¿cuál es la pregunta? Ya no quiero saber a dónde está, sino cómo llego. Entonces, my question va a ser, excuse me, Excuse me, how can I get to? So I'm going to change my equation porque ahora sí quiero la dirección. Excuse me, how can I get to the city park? Excuse me, how can I get to the fire station? Guys, repitan conmigo. Excuse me, how can I get how to? Can I get to? Excuse me, how can I get to? Yes, so guys, how can I get to this? How can I get you? Okay, so how can I get to this uh, places, guys? Again, estoy en el puntito. I am right here in the red spot. And I want to get to the flower shop. Excuse me, how can I get to the flower shop? La pueden escribir, guys. I'm going to give you some minutes para que las escriban si se sienten más cómodos y luego las compartimos, right? Again, si, eh, si usted tiene una forma diferente de decir la dirección, no hay problema, no worries. Acá eh, en direcciones, siempre y cuando me lleve al mismo That's lugar, right. estamos bien. We are good. El detalle es que me mande para otro lado, guys. So, <laughs> as long as you give me or take me to the place, estamos bien. So, university. And beauty mm. shop. Okay, I think we are good.
Um, Lupita, I read yours. Very nice, actually. It looks good. Eh, solo con el último pedacito, the next to bakery, eh, agreguémosle solamente iris. Iris next to the bakery. Eso es todo, solo el iris. Super ah, bien. Okay. Okay. Go straight one block and take the first left. Okay. Go for one block. The flower shop is in the corner. Oh, okay, very nice. Yeah, it works, it works. <laughs> okay, guys, so let's check number one. Revisamos solo el número uno right now. Let's go ahead. And check the first, y luego vamos and we check the rest. So, excuse me, guys, how can I get to the flower shop? Hay muchas formas, you know, eh, puedo venir recto uh, o Mallory Street, I can do this, o puedo irme a la esquina, and I can do this. So, como ustedes quieran, whatever you prefer. So, um, Hagámoslo, let's do it. Qué pequeño estoy, qué pesa eso, wait. That is too small. Okay, okay guys, so first, let's go, um, vamos sobre Mallory Street. So, ¿quién me ayuda con las instrucciones? Who wants to help me? Solo el primero, guys. Flower shop. Hey, Lupita, are you ready? El número uno. Yes, only the first. So the flower shop. Okay. Go on the four first block. Okay. Uh, the two left. Okay. It is next to the bunky. Uh, bakery. No, bakery. Okay, okay, okay. It looks it looks actually very nice. Uh creo que por ahí teníamos otras instructions to to get to the flower shop, walk to Omal on Mallory. And Second Avenue. On the. Ah, oh, permítame que no lo logro ver. I cannot see that. Le pasa. What is wrong? What is wrong? What is wrong? Wait. Okay. On the left, at the end of the. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Manuel looks very good. Solamente me faltan los verbos. So. Walk to walk of Mallory. No, permítame. Um, le estoy leyendo mal. So Mallory and Second Avenue. Okay, okay. Solamente me faltaría los verbos. Eh, so la primera parte is really good. So you have eh, to get to the flower shop, walk on Mallory. So we are good. Pero no me dice hacia dónde. Entonces para indicarme que debo de hacer el cambio, 
en la Second Avenue, acá solamente me faltaría el turn. Turn left on Second Avenue. So very good. Eh, go to the end of the block. So, or it is at the end of the block, which sounds good as well. Okay. Solamente me falta el verbo, only the verb, Manuel. But very good. It looks actually very good. Okay, miss. Okay. Oh, very nice. So, tenemos tres formas diferentes to give directions. Very good, guys. So, entre más cortas, más precisas sean, it's going to be easier. Guys, ¿alguien tiene otra forma? Okay. ¿Qué sucede? What happens si yo creo que es más fácil haciendo esto? Do this, do this, and do this. ¿Cuál sería la instrucción para hacer eso? What would be the instruction, guys? First. To the left and to the, to the light. Okay, so turn left. In the third avenue. Uh -huh. So turn left. Y luego. Wait, wait. I'm gonna. Eh, voy a ir haciendo lo pedacito por pedacito. So help me. Okay, turn left. Turn left. On third one avenue. Block, Estoy aquí. One block. Go to for right. one block. Mm -hmm. Okay. To right. Go for one block. To right. To right. To right. To right. Uh, it is next to coffee shop. Okay, pero todavía no ha llegado. <laughs> so, yeah. Right. Right. Uh -huh. Ya doble, pero right. ahí estoy. Walk down. Yeah. Walk down the street. Ah, oh, okay. Go down, go up, como lo prefieran, okay. Uh -huh. And where is the flower shop? On the, on the right. It is on the right, okay? Or podemos usar, se recuerdan de la expresión, go past. Yeah, go past coffee shop. Exactly. Okay. So, para ya no decir como que siga caminando. Uh -huh. So, turn left on 3rd Avenue, go for one block, and turn right on 3rd Lane. And go past the coffee shop, and the flower shop is right there. Mm -hmm. Ok, hay una expresión en inglés que usamos que es no te puedes perder, right? We can say you can not miss it. You can not miss it. No te puedes extraviar, right? Oh, so very good job with that. Ok, guys. Eh, les voy a asignar algunos. I'm going to give you one place para que busquen formas diferentes de dar las instrucciones to. And everybody can participate as well. So, uh, let me see here. Uh, okay, so Lupita, Yvette. Yvette and uh, David. Um, and Deborah. Guys, ayúdenme con, help me with the second place that we have. Tenemos fire station, diferentes formas de llegar al fire station, right? Fire station. Okay. Then we have Eduardo, uh, Eric. I have Jorge. And I have Carla. No sé si Carla ya despertó el paciente. <laughs> I don't know if it's. Is still sleeping, Carla. Uh, help us, guys, with the city park. So, diferentes lugares o diferentes formas de darle dirección para llegar al city park. I have Javier, Estela, or Abigail, uh, Mr. Castaneda. I'm going to write Castaneda because I have Luis Cruz, too. And uh, Suleyma, I don't know if Suleyma, yes, Suleyma is here. So help us guys with the university. So diferentes lugares to get to the university. And Manuel, Mr. Cruz. Isaías. Uh, Griselda. 
No sé, Griselda, si ya está con nosotros. I don't know if you're back. So help us con el último. Help us with the last, but not the least. That is the beauty shop. Okay, guys. So think about different ways um, to give instructions, right? Tenemos cinco minutitos. We have five minutes. Pueden escribirlo y para que lo, lo, lo practiquen, lo revisen, right? Y luego nos dan las instrucciones orales también, que es bien importante que las podamos decir. So, five minutes, guys. Busquen varias maneras. Si terminaron con una, busquen otra forma. Look for another way. In another way, hay muchas. There are a lot to get to these places. Remember, el punto de partida es el mismo. We are starting right here outside the cafe. So, go for these places, guys. So, excuse me, how can I get to these places? Let me know, guys, si tienen alguna pregunta, si les está costando alguno, or you don't know how to say it, let us know and we help you. Teacher, may I try? Uh, yes, of course. Okay, uh, you said first station, right? 
Your yeah, yours is the fire station. Okay. Um you can turn left to the third avenue. Okay, wait a second. I'm gonna follow you. So I can turn left on the second avenue. And go straight. Okay. Turn left. Turn left to the third avenue. Oh, third avenue. Sorry, my bad. Okay. So turn left. Second avenue. Okay. Okay. And you say let me and, and go Sorry. two block away. Then to right and your destination is on the right. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, it's not very fast. That was too easy. <laughs> okay, sounds good. So turn left on 3rd Avenue, go for two blocks, and turn right. Okay, your destination is on the right, yeah. It's on the corner too, that sounds good. Guys, eh, de que otra forma podemos llegar al fire station? Hay bastantes, there are a lot. Eh, miss, es la misma ruta, pero como en otras palabras. Super bien, démosle, okay, go for it. Eh, turn left. Go on the avenue, the avenue, okay. uh, past, uh, mm -hmm. past the city hall hospital. Okay. Mm, there is fire station. Oh, okay. Okay. On the right or on the left? On the right. On the, on the line. <laughs> Yes, it is on the right. Okay, very nice. No, but that's actually very good. Uh huh. I like it. So no utilizo vaya por dos cuadras, pero utilizo go past. Okay, very good. Good, good, good. Guys, tienen más? Do you have another for the first for the fire station? Anybody else wants to share it? Creo que veo la divet. I think I see vets right there. Yes. Diga la divet. Say it. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. okay. Yes. We'll try across the um, to avenue, pass by city hospital. On the right is the fire station. Okay. 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 Uh, can you repeat it, please? Can you say it one more time? Oh. Yeah. yeah, yeah, please. Can you repeat it? Uh, go try cross left on the avenue, uh -huh. pass by city hospital. Okay. On the right is the fire, fire station. Okay, very nice. Yes, you use different words, but you get to the same place. Okay. Creo que utilizo también go pass, right? Go pass the city hospital. Very good, girl. Sounds good. Guys, vamos con el siguiente. Good job with the first. Let's go with the second one. So the second one here refers to city park. Guys, excuse me, how can I get to the city park? Yes, Debra. Cross. Cuando tengo una calle, whenever I have a street, eh, yo puedo utilizar a cross from, que es el cruce de, pero si le doy la dirección, yo digo cross. Por ejemplo, le estoy en el supermarket, Y quiero llegar al City Hospital. Debo de cruzar la calle. Entonces, mi instrucción, la palabra que uso para decirle cruce, es eso. Cross the street. So, es el verbo, cross. Teacher. Yes. And, and uh, in my case, to get to City Park, go okay. on the Market Boulevard and turn left, Fields Avenue. Okay, wait, wait, wait. So, I'm um, go to... It is the chat. Oh my God, oh my God. Oh my the God. chat. No, but, but Lea no lo sé, sé. Estamos acá, uh, estamos eh, partiendo de acá, right? So, oh. de acá para donde me voy, where can I go? Oh, okay. No me diga, take a taxi. <laughs> so, <laughs> take a Uber, teacher. Take a, yeah, I know. <laughs> go ahead. 
Yeah, yeah, that doesn't work. Okay, see the part. Okay. Oh, sure. It's a good uh, to get to see the part. Go on the. Uh, on the Marjorie Street. Okay, um, so go on Marjorie Street. And, and to right and Fields Avenue. Okay, um, wait, wait, wait. So go uh, Mallory Street for cuantos blocks? How many blocks? Uh, two blocks. Okay, so go Mallory Street for two blocks. One, two, and then? And then uh, to, to right Fields mm, Avenue. Right or left? Right. Voy hacia arriba. Right? Yeah. Sería esto. Oh. Or left? Left. Okay, so, so it's okay. Turn left. Turn left and one block. And okay, go one block. Go one block and there is in from university. It is in front of the university. Okay, it is in, yeah, it is in front of the university. O oh, acá si podríamos utilizar también el, esa palabra de cross. Oh. So go one block and cross the street. The city park is eh, after the courthouse. Yeah, in front of the university, across from the university, across from the courthouse. Yeah, but that sounds okay. good. That's a very good instruction. Okay. Guys, tienen uh, otra forma de llegar al city park? That's actually very nice. How can I get to the city park, guys? I have, let me see. Eduardo, Eric, Carla, están por ahí? Are you there? He said, I, I get up to go one, is, one block on the Marjorie Street. Only one? One block. Okay. On the Marjorie Street, mm -hmm. taking the first left, the second avenue. Uh-huh. Hasta ahí, teacher. Hasta aquí vamos bien. Pero, eh, Carla, ¿para dónde me lleva? Where are you taking me? I see the park. Oh, nos falta un pedacito. Imagínese que esas son cuadras de esas grandotas. So, okay, we are good. So, go one block on Marjorie Street. Eh, take the first street left. Me gustó eso. Okay. I like that. Okay. Ahora solo um, lléveme el último pedacito hacia el City Park. Oh, the, the Second Avenue, mm -hmm. um, two block. Ok, oh, pero como la avenida oh, sigue, oh, eh, ¿de qué oh, otra oh, forma oh, puedo decirle ese pedacito? What can I use? Oh, no sé. Guys, ayúdenos, help us. Yes, Hasta yes. que va súper bien. You're doing fine. Or two But, block. Teacher, maybe go straight or go past police station. Ah, ok, ok. Eso funcionaría. That would work. That would work. Podemos usar una, una um, expresión, guys, que es go to the end of the street. So, es como vaya a ser el final de la calle. In this case, como los bloques americanos son enormes, podemos utilizarlo sin ningún problema. Go to the end of the street y nos referimos a cada esquina, right? Or go to the corner, go to the corner of the street. So, okay. So, Carla said, uh, go straight on Mallory Street for one block. Turn left or take the first left on Second Avenue. Super bien, me gusta esa expresión. And then, no, solo lo único que necesito es llevarlo a la esquina y que llegue, right? Entonces, okay. sí le puedo decir, ajá. Uh -huh. 
Yes. ¿Cuál es la expresión es la que le gusta? Um, ella utilizó, unió dos, dos eh, indicaciones de un solo, que es take the first. Uh, Carla, ¿puede repetirlo? ¿Can you repeat it? Yes, teacher. Take the first, left the second avenue. Ahí está. Take the first, left, on second, second avenue. avenue. Mm -hmm. On second avenue. Como, como menciona, teacher, para decir hacia la esquina, está en una esquina el parque. Ah, entonces ahí donde utilizamos, it is on the corner. So we can use it is, it is. On the corner. Ah, y de hecho, no es necesario que llegue hasta el final. Puede utilizar esta expresión. You can use it like, it is on the, the city park, is on the corner of it's Second on Avenue the... in 30 Lane. Oh, y ya asumo que voy a caminar. Y así como en los salvadoreños decimos esquina opuesta. It is opposite. shop. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. So it is opposite the flower shop. It is opposite the uh -huh. flower shop. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a, okay. Yes, we can include it. Like go to the end of the street and the city park is uh, after the police station or the opposite the flower shop. Yes. The flower shop. Mm -hmm. okay, we can yeah. use it too. Yeah, I mean, hay muchas formas de decirlo. Guys, les comento que esta expresión that Carla used es súper útil porque está combinando dos cosas al mismo tiempo. Um, en inglés, para ahorrarme todo este pedazo de vaya, uh, camine una cuadra, camine dos cuadras y luego dobla, utilizo esto de un solo. Take the first street, take the first left on Second Avenue. So, ya me voy buscando la Second Avenue en one, the first left. Como sé que es la avenue, me voy por la avenida, right? Y tomo la izquierda en la avenida. So, me puedo ahorrar a lot of words utilizando esta parte. Very nice. That's actually very nice. Um, guys, ¿alguien más tiene de City Park? Creo que escribió eh, Abigail. Ah, la universidad. Ok, let's take a look, Abigail. Revisamos lo que tiene de la universidad. Let's take a look what you have there. Um, so Abigail, eh, si gusta, active su micrófono y nos ayuda. So I think it's better. Pero es que yo no tengo todo. Mm, lo no, que tenga a mí es, dígalo, si usted no se preocupe, hacia acá, you know, nos equivocamos, lo corregimos, and that's totally fine. Y nos vamos ayudando. Vaya, ¿qué tiene? What do you have so far? Usted va para la universidad, right? You're going to university. Okay, vaya, ¿qué es lo primero? What do you have? Go strike. Okay. ¿Por cuántos bloques? How many blocks? Three blocks. Okay. So go straight three blocks. So one, two, Three. Go past courthouse. Go past courthouse. Okay. To the left. Okay, to the left. Okay. This is the first to the left, right? So go straight for three blocks, turn left, and vaya pasando to the courthouse. So turn left. Mm -hmm. En Gopas, Courthouse. Ok, llego hasta acá. Ajá. Uh -huh. mm, es que ya, hasta ahí llegué. Pero ya estamos cerca, mi solamente necesita, porque ya me dijo Go Past. So Go Past ya es como acá, right? Estamos en la esquina, solamente dígame, cruce la calle o un punto de referencia, como lo decía Carla, like, está al lado opuesto. Está enfrente. Acá podemos utilizar las preposiciones. Está cerca, está en la esquina. So, any expression you can. Está en la esquina. No sé cómo se dice. So, the university. Ah, uh, um, oh, no, I didn't write it. Wait. I'm going to write it here. So, I can use 
it is on the corner. There you go. Mm -hmm. It's opposite. Op opposite. City Park. Mm -hmm. Opposite City Park. Mm, solo que el lado opuesto sería el courthouse. Uh, courthouse. Yes, usamos el opposite cuando hablamos de esto, la esquina opuesta. Si hablamos de esto, eh, sería el cruce. How do you say el cruce de algo? El, guys, ¿cómo decimos el cruce? Como cuando debe de cruzar una calle, it is? Cross street. Across? Cross city park. From, mm -hmm. yes, oh. exactly, it is across. Yeah, eso estaba bien, that was actually very good. So, eh, go straight for three blocks, turn left, and go past the courthouse. So, go past the courthouse, car ya entendí que voy a cruzármelo todo, que lo voy a pasar, right? Um, the university is opposite the courthouse, or the university is across from the city park. Very nice, that's actually very good. So, it is across from, es cuando está um, como enfrente, pero hay una calle, right? Very good job, Abigail, that was good, that was really good. Guys, uh, ¿tien, ¿alguien tiene más de la university? ¿Tienen algo diferente? Yo. Yes. Or from uh, Mr. Castaneda. What do you have? Okay, go to the end of the Mallory Street and okay, turn left. Okay. I'm going to erase it to make sure. Okay, so go to the end of Mallory Street and turn and left. And turn left on the First Avenue. Okay. Then go on for two blocks. Two blocks. The university is on the right. The university is on the right. Okay, makes sense. Yeah, it sounds good as well. Okay, very nice, very nice. Okay, good. Okay, guys, vamos con el último. Let's go with the last. Um, and the last one is, let me take a look here. El último que tenemos, guys, es el beauty shop. So, um, ah, está mucho más fácil. It's kind of easier. Guys, um, how can I get to the beauty shop? Pero wait, como ya lo practicaron, ya lo manejan, cambiémosle de lugar, let's change it. Estoy acá, estoy en el toy shop. So guys, how can I get to the beauty shop? Si no solo es vaya a ser recto y ya estuvo, no, guys, eso no, es, no implica dificultad. So <laughs> how can I get to the beauty shop, guys? They are Creo que... Misma Manuel, ubicación. Nueva ubicación. <laughs> no, lo mismo eh, punto de partida. No, I mean, Beauty Shop es el mismo, oh. pero ahora parto <laughs> al, a la par del Tosha. Es que si no, Manuel, solo me iba a decir vaya a ser recto, and it doesn't... Uh, <laughs> no genera dificultad, right? So, ok, eh. guys. Uh -huh. Le pueden ir ayudando, too. You can help if you want to. So. Oh. Go oh, strange mm -hmm. uh, on Michael Boulevard. Work two block. Okay. It's on the right. Okay. And uh, on the right. Go past Rutter Lane. Esa sería calle. Sí. Okay. Um, ahí sería in the in the in front of courthouse. Mm, okay, so in front of the courthouse or across from, right? The Go past the church lane. Go past the church lane. Ahí podríamos usar al final de la, al final de la avenida, de la primera avenida. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. 
y quizás, y aunque... A Street. Mm, oh, sí, sí, podemos utilizarla porque de hecho está en la esquina. Entonces so podemos decir que The Beauty Shop está en la esquina. Uh -huh. so, ¿Cómo diríamos que el Beauty Shop está en la esquina de las dos calles? En el Beauty Shop en Corner en First Avenue en Majority on Majority Street. Exactly, very good. So yes, uh, we can go like uh, take uh, turn left and walk to blocks on uh, I don't see the name on the boulevard. Then turn right, go for one block or go for two blocks. Right, ambos funcionan. Um, and uh, the beauty shop is uh, on the corner of First Avenue. En Mallory Street. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Sí, porque está como exactamente en este punto, right? Donde se cruzan. Ok, very good job. Good. Guys, ¿cómo sienten dar direcciones? ¿Se complica un poco? ¿Does it get a little difficult? Sí, ya tenemos el, la ubicación geográfica, así como está ahí, sí, es más fácil, pero así. Mentalmente no. <risa> oh, ok. Y de hecho nos hace falta practicar con el mapa del de Salvador, guys. So, one of the practices incluye eso, pero lo vamos a dejar para el último día que es el review. Que es practicar en vivo y en directo. Uh, that I really like doing it. So, um, pues en que... español no digamos en inglés. <risa> uh, no, en in, in Spanish yo soy malísima con las calles. I don't know if that happens to you. Soy muy buena leyendo mapas, I can read maps, pero muy mala memorizando calles, la nomenclatura. I'm bad with that. I'm really bad. But guys, vamos a practicar a little more. Um, solo a little recommendation. Eh, dar, dar instrucciones se vuelve fácil, pero intentemos memorizarnos al menos las más importantes que son turn right, turn left, go straight, and on the corner. So, solamente con eso podemos dar instrucciones, right? No necesitamos a lot of things. Okay, guys. Um, so, we are just finishing. Nos faltan dos sesiones solamente, guys. We're missing just two more sessions. And uh, tomorrow, eh, tenemos la número 19. Y tenemos aún actividades to complete. Guys, please do not miss it. Solo le voy a tomar asistencia para que ya se puedan ir a descansar. Very good job today. Muy buena participación, guys. You were like super active um, and you participated a lot. So thank you so much for that. And uh, give me one second here that it is so deserved that you can rest a little. Wait a moment. Solo me van regalando confirmación verbal, please, para que quede en la grabación. So. I got my Camilo. No, I saw Camilo. Haven't seen him. Eh, David. David, lo acabo de escuchar. Eh, Debra. Here, teacher. Thank you. Edwin. Lupita. Here, Miss. Gracias. Eric. Present. Gracias. Abigail. Present. Thank you. Griselda. Present, Miss. Gracias, Miss. Uh, Isaías. Present. Thank you. Yvette. Present. Thank you, Miss. Javier. Jorge. Present, teacher. Gracias. Eduardo. Present teacher. Carla. Present teacher. Mr. Cruz. Mr. Castaneda. Present Miss. Vane. Ah, oh, no, Vane no puede conectarse. Es teacher, teacher. Yes. Teacher. Eh, Vane tuvo un inconveniente, por eso se tuvo que Oye, desconectar en ese momento. Oye, a ver, pero... Sí, de hecho me escribió, no sé qué le pasó. Pero... Sí, no, 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 ya yeah, me, me escribió like algo había pasado but I'm not sure espero que se encuentre bien I really hope everything goes fine okay yes, guys present so, teacher gracias Miss thank no you me so much. Mencionó, Miss. 
No lo mencioné, no, güey, pero ya lo anoté. Ah, bueno. I already tú. took you. Yeah, no, exactly. Uh, let me see, let me see, just to make sure. That... Yes, no, I took you. I took you already. I took your attendance. All right, guys. So thanks, everybody. Gracias por la attendance. Nos vemos el día de mañana. I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Have a good night, everybody. Sleep well. Sleep tomorrow, miss. Bye-bye, guys. See you night. tomorrow. Night. Have a good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, Bye -bye, teacher. guys. Have a good night. Good night, miss. And bye-bye. See you tomorrow.